So guess what I got here, Ian? Yo, I don't know. What is that? I got the brand new John Petrucci Majesty from Music Man, Ernie Ball. Wow. Possibly the world's most versatile guitar. <laughs> is it? I think it is. Um, well, can I try it? You, you want the truch? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you're ready for the truch. You sure, are you sure you want the truch? Give me the truch. You can't handle the truch! <laughs> there you go, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go over this schematic. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to teach you how to handle the truth. Yeah. Because okay. uh, it's a lot of truth to handle. I was still recovering from that. <laughs> it's a lot of truth to handle. My heart. Okay. This is the most versatile guitar ever made. It actually it actually is quite versatile. Uh, before, we uh, highly rehearsed that opening. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We thought we could handle the truth earlier. Yeah. But we didn't even understand this. It comes with this schematic. Right? Uh-huh. And when you look at this schematic at first, and, you know, Sean and I, just like you know, we come from simple guitar land. We're yeah. just we're just simple guys. Yeah, we I have I have guitars that usually just have um you know volume and, and tone switch and, mm-hmm. and a knob right. Uh, and I'm and tone on ten all the way. Tone <laughs> so except I don't even need the tone. And we don't know what you're doing. You're volume all the way down. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> it is. So when we got this guitar, we looked at it and said, oh man, like there is a schematic, and we're like, well, let's see what this thing can do. So we took our time to learn it, and we're we're actually going to show you how this schematic reads and what it does on the guitar. Because mm-hmm. when you understand this, and it actually boils down to being quite simple, yes. really. Um, this guitar is actually supremely powerful and really awesome to play Like, with. uncovering this, it felt like we were in the movie National Treasure. <laughs> yes! Yes! And, wait, who are you? Are you you're Nick Cage, right? I mean, you? obviously, yeah. Yeah, oh, the bad guy's name is Ian, so I'll take it. All right, first okay. things first. Okay, so yes, what do we have here? What do we have? I, I want to talk about this switch first. At first, you might think of it as a kill switch, because that's where a kill switch might be. Right. It's kind of like a kill switch. You can use it as a kill switch, mm-hmm. but it's got a pizza pickup. <laughs> Piazzo, Piazzo pickup. It's a pizza pickup. Pizza pickup, Piazzo, Piazzo. <laughs> we really don't know that. We know what they are. We, but I don't know how to never, say it. So I'm just going to call them pizza pickup. He calls them pizza pickup. I call them Piazzo, uh, Piazzo pickup. Uh, and if you call them Piazzo, whatever. That's uh, cool. But they have that acoustic sound. I'll explain really quickly. This, when it's in the up position, yep. it's on. Now, a couple things. The back of this guitar looks like Luke Skywalker's hand. It's got all these like, right. like mechanics. Uh, um, it's Luke Skywalker's hand after the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, the most clarify. important piece is the uh, the batteries in here. Yep. Um, and they help Double control, A batteries. Uh, yes, double A batteries. They, they, they control something as well that we'll get to. But when you plug it in, uh, this flashes to let you know that it's ready to go. Mm-hmm. And, it'll, and so I just want to show you the back here. And the reason it's important is because this is, the, the, in the up position, it's for the pizza pickup. It's for the pizza pickup. And mm-hmm. the volume knob is here for the piezo pickup, which yep. is the same. Piezo, mm-hmm. piezo. All right, so if you listen, like, I'll strum. And I'll have that, like, um, acoustic, acoustic sound. sound. Now, in the up setting, down here, I'll take my, really, volume only for this and roll it back, and you'll see no Not volume. Okay. So when you're on the piezo, pizza, piezo pickup, you use this knob for your volume, and it's pretty <laughs> slick. But it sounds nothing like Dream Theater. No. For the most part. So if you go to Guitar Center and you're looking to shred, yeah. make sure this is not in the up position <laughs> yeah. because it'll sound like you're trying to shred an it'll acoustic guitar. It'll sound like guitar. Dave Matthews is playing, like shredding on it. You'd be like, what's happening right yeah, now? Yeah, you'd be like, this is not what I thought it would be. Well, this comes in later with a really cool blending. You can blend this yes. stuff. It's actually what we're going to get to probably next. So right now, up position, piezo pickup, piezo pickup, mm-hmm. pizza pickup, and this bottom knob volume only gets yeah. us to our mm-hmm. second position. Boom. Boom. Now what is this? And again, now they call this fifth position. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Let's just get that out of the we're way. Just talking, we're, we're just messing yeah. right now with this uh, guy. Yeah. So right now... So now we're combining the pizza pickup with the actual, uh, the meat of the electric guitar. Yes. The majesty meat. The real pickups here. Now, the majesty... <laughs> it's majesty's meat. The ch- <laughs> That's not, yeah. It's right there. Uh-huh. And now, it gets a little complex. It's not complex. When you, when you do this, what you've done is you pretty much have turned on the electric guitar, but you have the ability now in this second position to blend in yes. the piezo pizza pickup. Uh-huh. Okay, so you hear like, here's with my uh, volume on the piezo. I'm going to say it differently every time. <laughs> I know, right? You can hear it sounds like, now it sounds like electric guitar. And now if I roll in the volume of the pickup, you can hear the blend between the two. And this is kind of cool, actually. It really is. Yeah, I am not lying when I say, like, when I found this position, I was like, oh, this, you could really get away with some stuff. You know, there are several recordings I always um, heard on some albums where it sounds like there's an electric 
uh, being played, and also maybe they're miking it. Mm. But I realize maybe it's a blend like this. So, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a really unique, cool sound. And you can also run this stereo out. Then yes. To run the piezo to run the pizza pick out to one channel. On yes. Yeah, so, and just it, so you know. pretty slight. Do look at that swirl. Mm -hmm. Look at it. he's balancing. Sorry. Just, ah. That's a big effing squirrel. I think it's Petrucci's spirit animal. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe he's looking. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> it's like it's P.A. Yeah, so it's <laughs> and a very well demeanored. <laughs> yeah, great, great guy. Right? Yeah. That squirrel. Great spirit. I love that guy. But also, just to let you know, we're in the second position. We kind of leaned into the electric guitar land. And now in standard, mm -hmm. you know, uh, fashion, when you now this switch comes into play, when you're towards yep. when you're towards the headstock, you're using the neck pickups. When you're in the middle, you're using both. And when you're uh, Pointed towards the bridge using the bitch, uh, bridge pickup. Bitch the bitch pickup. <laughs> you have to edit that part out. Uh, uh, where do we go from this? Right, yeah, here. The bridge pickup. The bridge pickup. So let's hear a little bit on each one. Okay, so now I'm not going to blend. This is no blend on the mm -hmm. piezo. Piezo. Yeah. And here's uh, here's neck. Uh, so like. Here's both. Mm -hmm. A little bit more bite. Full bridge and the hotness. Like, just a little bit more treble on each each setting as you go. For sure. Really. Mm -hmm. And then I can do the same thing. Now I can roll in again. It's a little bit like roll in the, the volume here of the piezo pickup. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna start with a totally on in here, like Something super distorted to clean, yeah. as maybe a prog, a prog band would do. Ooh. Oh, Ian. Oh, my man. So yeah, so now, very versatile, just in these first two settings, being able to have like a standard electric guitar yep. at your hands, and With then being able to blend, something else. blend something else, and, and easily controllable. I hope this is, you know, we're having fun, but it's really not that complex. It's once you once you get it on your hands, like, it, if I were watching this video the first time, the first time I read this, I was like, what? What? Yeah. But then it makes a lot of sense. Very intuitive. Really intuitive. Really, and so as a kill switch. Yes. Real quick. Just turn the pizza pickup off, <laughs> and then now you can just like. Now it's essentially a kill switch. It is, switch. is a kill right. switch, mm -hmm. which is why Buckethead is probably gonna get this guitar now. Mm -hmm. I think Buckethead has got his own he, yeah, that's thing going. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, <laughs> no, but so far, really, really good. All right, third setting yeah. is no. Pizza pickup. No pizza. Okay, Sad. so just standard straight up guitar now. It's like yes. when I went vegan. It's just no more pizza. No more pizza. But there's I'll vegan pizza. There is. I'll make, I have a cauliflower crust for you to take home, by the way. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, I do. All right, here we go. All right, so now, so now um, you can see I'm rolling the, the piezo pickup volume. Nothing's Not happening. happening. I'm now it's in out. the it's third engaged. setting, all the way down. This is now full electric guitar as you know it. I'm going to raise my seat. Mm -hmm. if, if you hate pizza, just go down right there. <laughs> yeah, done. Mm -hmm. Done. No pizza pickup. So now. <laughs> Standard guitar, so nothing's different now. We have the electric, yep. we, sorry, we have the uh, neck setting, middle setting, both, and then we have the bridge setting. But something cool, which one do you want to talk about first? Well, we haven't even talked about uh, yeah. these it's, knobs these right knobs here. here. Guess what? Yeah. They all push in like buttons push and pop, in, pop out. out. Push in, pop out. And then their volume and tone, usually, right. but when we pop them up, something else happens. So mm, the, first, the first thing we're going to do, actually, I believe it's the middle button, is where you can go into single coil. Well, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can split them up. Yeah. And so I'm gonna take this guy here, this middle button, and it, well, here's the sound with it. Now pop, up, pop it. and you hear like more single coil. Ah, okay. there you go. But now very stratty. But I've lost something. You lost. What have I lost? And it's a standard. I mean, it's not like a bad thing. When you go from humbucker to single coil, there is a, a volume drop in any guitar. Um, it's 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 when you find one that doesn't do that. I mean, it's rare. It's usually handmade. And, sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. But, but that's why you might want to get a boost pedal. Well, you don't have to. Why don't I need a boost pedal? Because Ian? this comes with a mag boost. Uh, uh, knob right here, the, the other one where you push that. Now the volume has been brought up. How many decibels? Twenty. Twenty dB. dB. Is that decibels? Yeah. Yes. Look at that. There you go. So I'm gonna go back to single coil. I'm gonna go without the boost. Blammo. Hitcha. And I've listened. And like magic, it brings the volume of that single coil. 
actually brightens them up a little yeah. bit. Really now, there dry. are different things you can use the boost on your oh, floor. It yes. doesn't always just happen in single coil. You can no. boost your humbuckers. You can boost your humbuckers. Yeah. When you do, like, you're going to get almost like a, a pre-crunch or a crunch mm -hmm. like pre-channel, mm -hmm. uh, and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go now. I push this back down. I'm in humbucker setting, okay? And I can just like... Uh, and now I'm going to hit that mag boost button. And now... So now, I think we're getting to the meat and potatoes of this. Now Sorry. we have the piezo pickup, pizza pickup setting, mm -hmm. switch up here, totally active. You can hear it. Okay. Now the blend setting where you can have it active and you can also have your full electric guitar. Full electric guitar setting with this knob down. Now you have your neck pickup, your middle, your bridge. You have your single coil, boom, pop up, split, and you have your boost split, and which makes the, uh, the Petrucci Majesty 6 pretty awesome. You know what, Sean? I think I can handle the truch. I think the truch shall set you free, Ooh. and hopefully it has for you yeah. today. And also, I think you're going to have a demo of this in your channel, Yeah, right? for sure. So yeah. not a lot of playing in this demo. This no. is more just like, this is how you use yeah. the thing. Yeah. And it's it's awesome. I mean, it really is. When we first got it, like we said, mm -hmm. uh, we were like, oh, okay. Like, this isn't what I thought, because we had the pizza pickup on the whole time. Yeah, 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 we did. But you know what, though? Here's the testimony. This is, we're, we're not paid for this. Here's the testimony of Ernie Ball. Mm -hmm. Like, we have a contact, Ernie Ball. Yes. He trusted us enough to, like, learn this guitar, and we did. And so, we're going to give it... <laughs> Derek, Derek, thank you for believing in us. Thanks, buddy. Awesome guitar. Uh -huh. Rock and roll. <laughs>